How do you install a tent in a storm? I received a question some time ago about a viewer and the viewer uh, Valley Precope. I'm sorry if I mangled your name. Uh, V-A-L-I-P-R-I-C-O-P-E. Hello, Mr. Linstow. I wish to ask you about how to install a tent in a storm. Of course, I know I should not do the situation, but it can happen. It does. For that matter, it almost happened last summer in the trail of a principal ridge of the Farragas Mountains in Romania. More than 70 kilometer ridge in four days, the most part of the time without signal, smartphone to check the weather forecast. I was lucky enough to be find an acceptable place for my double wall tent, Marmot Vapor 2, right before the storm started. So how to install a tent if it's starting to rain before you find a good place to install the tent, because if you start and install in the normal way, the tent can be full of water before you finish. Thank you very much for answering all the information on this channel. Best regards, Valley uh, Precope. Uh, Valley, or Valley, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. One of the challenges is, of course, setting up the tent. My battery's about to die, I'll be right back. Setting up a tent in a storm is a major challenge. I've had several people ask me about that, and oh, my back is sore from leaning here. I'm sleeping in my tarp tent here. A little snowy, as you can see. But one of the tricks is, especially with the double wall tents, is a lot of tents are designed so you can actually put the tent up before putting the tent up. What does that mean? Uh, some tents actually allow you to put the shell up and get it going before you actually put the tent up. Now, if you've got the design where you've got to put the poles in and the tent sitting there collecting water and then you put the tarp over it and that's the only way to build it, that tarp or that tent is arguably not totally designed for that sort of condition. Look at your tent design and see if there's some way you can actually get the rain fly or the double wall, the, the outer shell wall, set up before you actually create the inner part of the tent because the inner part of the tent chances are that thing will turn into a bathtub by the time you're done as you discovered. Now, one of the tricks is if your tent isn't designed for that and you're out and it totally happens, make sure to bring a sponge. You don't have to have a huge sponge, but a small sponge because if you get caught in that condition and your tent is literally a bathtub and full of water, you need to get the water out, and without a sponge, there's no easy way to do that. But a sponge, just a regular kitchen sponge, totally gets the job done. I've had to do that. I've spilled things in my tent. I get the sponge out, begin sponging, ring, sponge, ring. It is not efficient. It is not terribly enjoyable, but it works. Now, uh, let's see. There we go. I'll hold the camera up. Uh, Another way too, like my Hilleberg Namage tent, it actually, the outer shell is designed to come up and the tarp or the poles actually hold the outer shell up and the inner shell of the tent just hovers inside on these bungee lines. It's pretty slick. So when I put that style of tent up, it naturally comes up. So that's something to consider is if you know you're going to be out and about traipsing around in potential storms, those tents are expensive. But get a tent that is designed specifically so when you put it up, the outer shell is already ready to handle the snow and the rain and whatever else is happening. And it works really well. My tent, the MSR Hubba, they don't make it anymore. But the outer shell, I can actually put the outer shell out, lay it out, and then build the tent under it. It's kind of awkward and uncomfortable, but it does work. It still does get water in it but I'm able to sponge that out and have an okay time. So you have to do and test this at home is figure out how to awkwardly set up your tent if it doesn't support the outer shell support first and that will get you in business in dealing with setting your tent up when it's snowing or raining or whatever. Can you see outside? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've got a couple of subscribers that were calling me out and said, Hey Aaron, we want to see some video of you actually in action, not in your comfortable studio. All right, here we go. In action, folks. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, 
the most crucial not to know, and my 2024 total eclipse guides, as well as my show Antarctic Tears, where I take you three month odyssey of skiing alone to the South Pole. Set the world record for that one. It was sweet. Thank you very much. Please eh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.